this is going to be our last lecture for the day. We're going to wrap up the 1960s here very briefly uh, by talking about what is arguably the greatest achievement in the United States history. Now, I always find it fascinating that the 1960s was this decade that started out as a continuation of the 50s. Obviously, there was issues with civil rights. Uh, obviously, there were Cold War issues. But at the beginning of the 60s, it was just Andy Griffith, uh, Mayberry, in a continuation of the 1950s. Life overall was pretty decent for most Americans. Not all, but most. Then the 1960s, uh, the mid-60s hits. And it's utter chaos from there. But I always find it interesting that the decade ends with the greatest achievement that the United States of America has ever been able to accomplish. And that, of course, is the moon landing. Now, how did we get to putting a man on the moon in 1969? Well, if you remember, in class, we showed the video a while back when we were still in school, those glorious days when we were still in school. Uh, we showed the video of President Kennedy challenging America to go to the moon. And he said, we will go to the moon and do it by the end of this decade, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Um, and we did it by 1969. But it didn't just start with Kennedy one day saying, hey, let's go to the moon. It actually started back in the 1950s. Something happened to America that we despise as a people. We lost. The Soviet Union beat us into outer space farther than you know any man had ever gone uh, with Sputnik. And the Soviet Union beat us in a few other ways in space exploration, and we were sick of losing. We weren't going to allow that to continue. So when President Kennedy takes over, now remember, Kennedy ran in 1960 under the belief that Eisenhower was allowing us to lose the Cold War, that there was a missile gap and other things, which turned out to be false. But Kennedy is going to basically challenge the United States of America to win the space race portion of the Cold War. So, six years after President Kennedy's death, in the summer of 69, we have the first men walking on the moon. And it's a great accomplishment. We not only beat the Soviet Union to the moon, and remember, going to the moon is a part of the Cold War. It is a Cold War event. Uh, we probably wouldn't have got there as quickly as we did if not for the pressures of the Cold War. But putting a man on the moon changed technology forever. Uh, it was the final frontier, if you will, that man could explore. Now, last summer, we had the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, and a lot of great books and documentaries came out about the moon landing. But my personal favorite from last year was Douglas Brinkley's American Moonshot. Uh, it's a great book, you know, very fascinating. I was able to breeze through it in about a week uh, back in the summer. So if you're looking for something to read about the moon landing, which happened in 1969, uh, the one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, if you're looking for something to read about it, I highly recommend this. Douglas Brinkley's American Moonshot. So at the end of this tumultuous, crazy decade, an event united Americans when everybody could have pride and happiness in the fact that we were able to put a man on the moon. So, our next lectures, uh, in a day or two, I'll be putting some more on here. Uh, we'll be diving into the 1970s, and then uh, we'll be meeting um, President Reagan in the 1980s. Uh, hopefully... Uh, we are back to school soon, and we will be able to hit this stuff again uh, inside the classroom. But um, regardless of that, I hope this information that I have been able to give you today has helped. Uh, and I have to say, I really miss being in the classroom. So hope to see you all soon.